1972 D error Eisenhower dollar. This coins comes with 40% clipped planchet. A clipped planchet error happens when a portion of the coin blank, planchet, is missing or clipped during the punching or cutting phase. This results in a coin with an irregular shape and missing metal along one of its edges. The degree of the clipping can vary, ranging from minor clips that remove only a small portion of the coin to more significant clips that affect a larger area. In the case of the 1972 Eisenhower dollar with a 40% clipped planchet, it means that approximately 40% of the coin's circumference is missing. It was sold for $1,080. Number 7. 1970s Lincoln sent with large date and triple die obverse. Graded as PR69 read by PCGS. FS107 is a variety that is highly sought after by coin collectors due to its distinctive characteristics. In this particular variety, the term triple die refers to the fact that elements of the design on the obverse, front, of the coin appear to be tripled, most evidently seen on letters G and O of the word God. This resulted from a triple die during the minting process. This elusive proof sent ended up selling for $1,140. Number 6. 1970s Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC with 5 full steps. According to Grading Service, after a drought of attractive nickels throughout the 1960s, the 1970s entry is among the more pleasing coins in overall quality. Widely hoarded, as were all S mint nickels, gems are plentiful. For reasons unknown this issue is also somewhat available with 5FS, and even 6FS examples are possible for the more advanced specialist. This one ended up selling for $1,380. Number 5. Circulated 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded as extremely fine 45 plus by PCGS. Surfaces are mostly devoid of original luster and tarnish spots catch the eye here and there. Main distraction is this pretty massive gouge on the cheek of the Lincoln. The 1914 D. Lincoln Cent is a key date in the series, highly sought after by collectors. It was minted in Denver and is known for its relatively low mintage. Its scarcity, especially in higher grades, makes it a desirable and valuable coin among numismatists. Even in circulated condition this specimen fetched a sum of $1,320 on December 11, 2023. Number 4. 1977 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a clad dime planchet. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a visually impressive proof off metal mint error. Noticeably out of round with most of Liberty and of America absent. Trust and states are partial. The date has a stretched appearance due to unrestrained flan expansion during the strike. Traces of the red copper core were squeezed out from the edge during the strike, and struck into the reverse margin between 3 and 7 o'clock. It was sold for $2,640. Number 3. 1976s Bicentennial Quarter Mated Pair. Graded as PR66 by NGC. This mated pair consists of a quarter with a fully struck reverse and an indent of a smaller planchet on the obverse, and the struck smaller planchet with the obverse quarter design. The smaller planchet was likely intended for a dime. Mirror fields complement a bold strike and delicate iridescent toning. This two-piece lot fetched a sum of $3,840 at auction. Number 2. 1972 D. Washington quarter struck on a Philippines 5 Senamos planchet struck in obverse. Graded in Mint State 62 by NGC. The Denver Mint struck 90 million brass 1,972 dated Philippines 5 Senamos, 71,744,000 pieces during 1972 and another 18,256,000 pieces during 1973. A 5 Senamos planchet became mixed in with Washington quarter planchets, and was fed together with a quarter planchet between Washington quarter dies, with the 5 Senamos planchet between the obverse die and the quarter planchet. During the strike, the 5 Senamos planchet was struck into the obverse of the Washington quarter planchet, flush with the collar die at 9 o'clock. A clad Washington quarter should weigh 5.67 grams, and a 1972 Philippines 5 Senamos should weigh 2.5 grams. This error coin ended up selling for $4,560. Number 1. 1977D Eisenhower dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a clad Eisenhower dollar should weigh 22.7 grams. 
Very limited number of such dollars are known struck on planchets intended for 40% silver San Francisco bicentennial-like dollars. This is a lustrous and nicely struck mint error with peripheral straw gold toning and a few minor obverse field grazes. The strike details are remarkably strong throughout, undoubtedly from being struck in silver, which is much softer than the usual nickel. It was sold for $26,400. That's all folks. Stay tuned to CoinOz for getting frequent updates from various prestigious coin auctions. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. God's will, see you in the next episode.